absolutely blasting smashing through Don Tolliver's new album Lovesick and I just wanted to give it a shout out to people who haven't actually checked it out Don Tolliver for me is now kind of occupying that space of like specialness like it's kind of like when Scissor dropped Control and I felt like oh this girl's got something like she might be the one and then obviously you know SOS comes out you're like okay cool she's definitely the star I feel like this is this Lovesick album is definitely the kind of precursor to the actual big project that's gonna blow him up you know bigger than whatever it may be and this is legitimately one of the best because i kind of re i kind of refer to don toliver he sort of occupied that sort of like thai dollar sign sort of like space this r&b kroner who came on songs um did good verses did good 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 uh, sorry good hooks good melodies but maybe wasn't possible wasn't able to put together his own coherent project but then he did i forgot that project that he put out that had like five times on it which one was that one um i'm gonna quickly check it out now uh it's the album called life of a don that was at 2021 which i thought was really good but if anything life of a don by don toliver it probably fell off a little bit after like track six or seven i think the first five to six seven tracks were pretty decent and then he kind of lost his legs like it felt like there wasn't enough there to kind of sustain the project or like that kind of whatever melodies and, and things i kind of liked in tracks like um what you call it uh, i'm looking now on the track list like five times escape what you need double standards even 2am track number nine they didn't really extend throughout the entirety of the album whereas lovesick i feel like he's taken all the good things all the good things from life of a don and he sort of extrapolated it and filled it out not just like not just taking songs and just kind of you know copy pasted them he sort of extrapolated and put different parts and different bits the switches the flips the flipping guest verses it's it's so good this album right this um and the doctor just came out it's so good that in my opinion i think the travis scott tracks or the travis scott tracks tracks or tracks that have come out on this might be the weakest in my opinion the trackers the travis scott tracks are the weakest even though they're the ones that are going to get you the most eyes as you can see here from genius it's got 39 um what you call it views obviously from that from the track with called embarrassed with travis scott but for me the best tracks that stand out on this album for sure are luckily i'm having featuring tezo touchdown which is on the, the deluxe um a quick note on the deluxe i do hate how in this era deluxe albums for whatever reason it's a weird thing. So I think it's an Apple Music thing. I think it's an Apple Music thing. So on Apple Music, for whatever reason on Apple Music, if you if you search for an artist, right, and they've got yeah, if you search for an artist, they've got a deluxe. Here's what happens. Sometimes it happens like this. So this is Don Tolliver's. Let me let me get this back up on the screen. Let's just let's do this again. This is Don Tolliver's flipping thing, right, on uh, on Apple Music, right. Then when you scroll down to the album, you'll see the deluxe is there, right there. That's a deluxe. But the original already came out and I've got it on my collection. So what it would do is that it will just erase the, the regular version. It will just give you the deluxe only, which is annoying. Cool. Then secondly, when the deluxe does drop, right? The first four tracks are usually the added tracks, usually. But they're not clearly labeled. So it's just difficult to figure out. So you, can't, you don't really know what you listen to, what the new tracks are. And I guess they do that on purpose because they want to force people to listen to the new tracks but i would much prefer if it's a deluxe how deluxe used to work with cds would that there'll be either a separate cd or they'll be at the bottom of the of the track list but i guess because they want people to listen to them they put them right at the top and it just messes up you don't know which one and again if you delete the previous album how do i know which ones are the deluxe tracks it's just flipping annoying but regards this is what it is the deluxe came out four new tracks the best for me i thought was a luckily i'm having with tezo touchdown um the tracks on the album itself the track with let uh, with james blake let her go might be legitimately one of james blake's best songs and he's fallen off completely i was a big james blake fan or stan in like what 2019 or something when i don't know when retro game all that stuff came out back in the day but recently he's really fell off a cliff unfortunately some people you know maybe myself included think that his relationship maybe with, with that jamila jamil woman may have tainted some of his artistry and he's never been the same again but this track definitely restored my faith in flipping james blake's supremacy so big up him the leave the club track with glorilla and little dirk is stupendous the way little glorilla absolutely smashes that track probably has a better best better verse than little dirk on there and might be the biggest glorilla a fan so big up her um the other one as well go down this is um tisa korean who i'm not really too familiar with i really enjoyed that one time hills leather coats really good there's too many good tracks here slow motion with whiz kids really good and of course one of the standouts is private landing featuring future and justin bieber oh ho, ho, ho. the way these two guys absolutely skate skate 
and sliver and slide and spin and pirouette on this track is absolutely incredible. Hearing Justin on what you deem to be a quote unquote urban record again is so pleasurable for me, legitimately, because I'm one of those guys that loves Justin B on R and B. Justin Bieber on R and B on like hip hop pop records is just so so good. And obviously he's you know he's going through his health battles at the moment. He's probably not in the mind right mind state to kind of get give us an actual album again. But I really do want Justin Bieber to come back again and remind us of the power and of what he's really about. But honestly, Justin Bieber on here. Mm. Keep on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, look at look at this track. He's talking about double cups. Just people talk about double cups. I guess I'm spinning. Double cup, I'm leaning. I guess I'm spinning. Double cup, I'm leaning. Justin Bieber's talking about double cups. Are you absolutely are you absolutely killing me? Come on, man. So yeah, um, I really recommend you check it out. One of my favorite albums today. And again, I think is a really good um indicator of like um Don Tolliver's stardom and definitely I think the precursor before the big album I think people have even said now his performances at Flipping Rolling Loud were really good as well I didn't really particularly like it too much but the reaction from the crowd definitely showed that his star is really 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 rising but for sure if you're a fan of somebody like a Ty Dollar Sign I definitely recommend checking it out. Talking of Ty Dolla Sign, he has to be a little bit aggrieved because Don Tolliver has definitely now replaced him, I think, for that kind of category. Um, he's definitely somebody I prefer to go to. And again, consistency beats it. And he's just, you know, more visible and whatnot. And just, yeah, it just sounds better for now. But obviously, Ty Dolla Sign still got a lot of talent, but he hasn't necessarily been able to put it together in a real concise album. His mixtapes usually do better. And even them, they don't really have great, great, the greatest replay value. But yeah, Love Sick, Val Love Sick by Don Tolliver. Definitely check it out. It came out. I think a couple, originally came out a couple of weeks ago, but obviously the Love Sick, the Deluxe came out just last weekend. If you haven't checked it out, please do, man. It's absolutely banging. Really, really, really good. And I've been enjoying it, enjoying it so 